Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared. My lovely wife, Kara, is not joining us for this. All right, so some of you wanted to check out my studio. So let's take a studio tour and we'll check out some knives in the process. So this is how I come into the studio. Try to keep that sealed up. Let me get a hold of the camera so you guys can really take a look at everything. We got the sound blankets wrapped around. It's really just moving blankets, but it's basically the same thing. Got them pinned up to the ceiling. We'll take a look at the outside here in a second. Got them pinned up across the ceiling here. And we got the shelf right here. And normally, you know, the camera goes over here. This is where I do my reviews and lives. If you guys come to the lives, then you probably know the camera sits behind the the desk right there and faces the chair and then during the reviews i face it down right here i move the chair to the side and i put the, the tripod right here and face it down but we'll take a look at that stuff here in a second the shelves so we basically just got a lot of knickknacks and just fun little things um i guess we can go through some of them we got some knives here cases and um, that's a new knife I just got. And then some knives that I typically grab or I'm, you know, use or it's just like they, they come in hand for the lives, reviews, whatever. Um, typically knives I grab right there. And also right here, same thing, lots of size comparison knives and it's maybe some knives Kara might grab or use and that I use. And we got another shelf down here full of knives, some fixed blades on the side. And most of my knives actually sit down here. I got my cases down there and um, I have three different cases down there, my, my Carhartt wrap. Um, but I, these get switched out a lot. It just depends on what I got coming up. And then we got some artwork some art that Kara did, something I did. This I actually swam to the to, in the ocean and got, um, almost died getting that thing. Um, these are some uh, some dolls that my cousin made for us to, they look just like me and Kara. I think that's amazing. We got some more old lights. We got tons of old lights. Timbo made us this spoon and we actually got a lot of little gifts and stuff in here that people have sent us. Um, we actually, we absolutely love all the gifts. These are boxes and like puzzles. Kara loves puzzles and these are like hard to get open boxes. They're actually pretty cool. That's some petrified wood. And then down here at the bottom is kind of where I keep either things coming up for review or things that are getting that are for giveaways. I, I try to keep everything separated. I got tons of boxes over there. I got a whole of the drawer full of boxes. Boxes galore. But but I try to keep like say if I have some someone's stuff coming up for review, maybe they didn't send it in uh any pouches. I, I use my own pouches because I have so many pouches. I just put their knives in pouches, keep them in a box so when they're ready to come up for review. I don't want to get overwhelmed with too many knives out. So I keep them, you know, in a box ready to go for when I'm done with uh, the ones I'm currently working on. I got lots of pens. I love pens. Um, that's a, a gem book. I love stones and natural materials and gems and precious stones. So it's just kind of cool. Um, and then we got Douglas. Say what's up, Douglas. And... Let's go back up here. I got more old lights and then, oh, bloody knuckles. This stuff, I try to remember to put this stuff on before reviews. That's why I have it facing right there as I forget a lot of times, but my hands get all messed up from working and working on knives and sharpening. So, but that stuff really helps with dry skin and just repairing your skin on your hands. And then just a bunch of other little knickknacks and stuff. Like I said, old lights and the fish bowl from the lives. Over here, we have the the old Neves knives. Well, not old, but the Neves knives painting that I took down to redo the studio. And then we got our sticker board. All these people have either channels or just great people that sent us stickers. That's my dad, actually, right there. Um, 
But yeah, you probably recognize a lot of these stickers. We need to figure out what to do with these now. If we're gonna keep them, maybe put them on this wall now, or I don't know, we'll figure it out. We're still working on it. And then I got my, my little marker board over there. And you can see, if I back up, this is the only part missing right there on the wall. The rest of it does have the soundproofing blankets and it just kind of helps, you know, keep the sound from outside out and the sound in here in and it helps with the echoes and stuff like that so this is my light i have another light uh, um, a smaller one that i can that i can put on a tripod or with a, a handle um like a little handle like this but anyways um but love the light the light works really good i can make it taller shorter move it all around it works really good then this is my chair. Love this chair. Recently got it and it's amazing. I absolutely love this chair. Feels so good to be on a good chair. This man, the chair I was using was falling apart. Then you got the desk here and you can see I got knives here either that were gifts or that are coming up for review. Maybe I use them for size comparisons. A lot of these knives, they switch out because it just depends on what I'm doing and what I'm working on and what I'm reviewing. But very thankful for all the gift knives here. In the pocket right now, I'm actually carrying this because I got the review coming up very soon. The Chris Reeves Unnanzun. Laptop, uh, iPad. We recently got the laptop. I've been doing everything off of my phone. Let me close this so it stops blinding you guys. But I've been doing everything off of my phone, everything. And now that I have the laptop, I can start learning how to use the laptop to incorporate it into the channel and editing and downloading and stuff like that. More knives, same deal, size comparisons, um, you know, stuff that's either, this is actually a giveaway knife. We got a couple knives I finished up the review on that are getting ready to get boxed up, sharpen knife. You know stuff like that i i have books everywhere this is actually a tight i'm loving this two sun titanium pen uh benjamin gave me this and this i love this pen but yeah i have books like this everywhere everywhere because a lot of my work doesn't even happen here it happens in my on my workbench out there which i do lots all my sharpening on Sometimes I edit right here. A lot of times I do edit right here, but then other times I edit over there. So it just depends. But they have these books everywhere full of video ideas and notes and all kinds of stuff. Um, in the drawer, uh, calipers, uh, measuring tape, um, some more Hanks. I got Hanks everywhere. So I love Hanks. Um, they, I don't like putting knives on top of hard surfaces unless they are in G10 or Micarta. So they go good so I can rest them on something soft. This is foam right here. A lot of people think that's like a hard surface. I mean, this thing is, it's foam. So um, that's what, that way I can drop stuff on. I don't have to worry about it scratching. I mean, it's literally just squishy foam. Um, and then, like I said, the Hanks, lots of people send me Hanks and I love it because I use them all the time one i carry them all the time but besides that like over here if you look at my knives like these one this one came from lacy so this one and this one and i i right away found a purpose for it because i wanted to set my knives on some of these shelves but i don't want to scratch them i don't like thinking that if i bump it they're going to slide or anything like that this way they're on something nice and soft great hanks too this one's kind of like a um a leather or no this one's is this one a leather one yeah it's kind of like leather very, very very cool but yeah hanks come in hand and i use them to wipe things down to to insulate my hand from surfaces when i'm opening things there's so many purposes for them but who we got down here another book oh here if you ever want to know a badass hammer to get or a good quality reputable hammer east wing baby USA made, very, very reliable hammer. I've been carrying East Wing hammers for probably 25 years. Absolutely the best hammer. But yeah, um, over here, it's kind of the same concept, either stuff that I got done reviewing, I packaged up, they're in the box, or stuff, a couple, maybe one or two things that are coming out. So it just depends. And then when we're doing the lives, the camera sits back here and faces, obviously, 
this way towards my chair and stuff. I'll set it up here in a second. And then when I'm doing reviews, I just set the camera up right here and it faces down on this surface. And you know, I bang and I review. Um, now my microphone, the one I'm wearing right now is a lapel mic. You see the cord right here. And here is the mic that I'm using for my lives. So it's got the arm so I can move it all around. This one just sounds a lot better for the lives, but for like this or for recording, like just recording actual videos, my lapel mic works really good because I can move around a lot better without the sound moving in and out. And then when I'm done with it, I, I just hang it on here. I hang because it's very long. So what I do is I hang it though the mic right here and I let it dangle down and I bring it back to over there just because it's so so long but which I like that it's very long but it also becomes a mess so I try to keep it from untangling and everything so yeah let's check out the outside so you can see how I have them pinned up up here all the blankets and then they go around to a circle all the way around it basically makes like a half a moon into a corner but I used old phone cords for this. Um, I had a bunch of paracord that I could have used, but I'm a Nimrod and I wound up cutting up old phone cord that just doesn't work anymore. I guess I you know, found a purpose. But you can see how this is kind of just like in a corner. Um, that's actually a bench that I use for working out and stuff, but I was hanging this corner right here. But yeah. These, uh, I'm really liking having this all closed off and sealed up right here. We can get inside if we really need to, but I like to keep it. I, try, I tried to make sure that when I put hung them, I made it where it could fold because I'm trying to keep the light and the sound out and stuff. So very, very cool. Now let's check it out from the typical point of view. So this is kind of the position that people watch the lives in. And then, like I was saying before, you know, when I'm doing my reviews, you're over here or the camera's over here facing straight down right here. But so a lot of people might think that, you know, this costs a lot of money to make or to do. But in all reality, this took us over two years to put together and make. We started with just a, a phone. <laughs> that was it and a couple of knives, but because of everybody's help and everybody just being so awesome to us and supporting us, we have came a very, very long way. We are super blessed. It took a very long time to do just one piece at a time, I guess you could say, because we don't have a lot of money. So, you know, all these little pieces over a long period of time wind up becoming something great and we wouldn't have been able to do it without all the support from everybody from all the, the donations the gifts the the patreon just everything and i know a lot of people say that like oh i couldn't do it without my subscribers yada yada and i, I know a lot of people say that but i i'm i can't tell you how serious i am when i say that we really could not do this without all the help from you guys we really appreciate you guys and we have now that i have this microphone and this mic and i just paid for an app so that i can do lives and interview people so i want to do a podcast but aside from the podcast also doing lives where i can or not it doesn't necessarily have to be lives but just where like i can talk to people do like a zoom call and record it and you know, upload it. So there's a lot of avenues that I'm trying to do this year. I'm hoping that this year we really grow and basically um, just expand as much as possible, whether it's for the, the videos or the video quality or the sound quality from, you know, starting a podcast and doing other things on Patreon and more things on Instagram. Just having the parts and the pieces really helps us to be able to make good quality content. And I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.